Just came out Operation Wolf. This is a classic arcade game returning as a VR, PlayStation VR 2 game. Uh, I remember the game in the game in the arcade, the old school one was a on rail shooter. You had the machine gun and it like vibrated. It felt like a real machine gun. It was super cool. Uh, the art style has changed in this, but uh, you'll see. So this is going to be my live review of this game so be sure to like and subscribe smash that bell icon guys uh and you'll get notified for all my live reviews and you can tell if you should pick any of these vr games up or give them a big old pass but uh let's get into this and like it insert coin or press anything colonel jones it's nice to see you again sergeant the world needs you once again let's go kill shit so that feels like that's a little too high Right there's gun. That's not gun. That's a gun. Like I literally like force my wrist down. Visuals are super clean. I like that. I like the art style. Actually, now that I'm in the headset, I like the art style. See, there's the old arcade cabinet. That settings. I am right left-handed, sir. Oops. Oh, what happened? Yes, sitting. Get there. That's more. So far, standing. That's almost believable. There's blood. Is that a bad guy? Alright. Let's go back this way. That's Operation Wolf Returns. It's a classic arcade shooter brought to PlayStation 2 VR. I am going to give this graphics. I'm going to give a 7. Uh, sound, I'm giving a four. Sound is crap. I'm using these little earbuds. Uh, I don't think it's going to improve if I use something different. It's like very tinny, not very, like, not a lot of punch to it. Uh, While I'm holding it, it as far as PlayStation 2 features, it does have some haptics in the triggers and some rumble in like one of the controllers, but the headset rumbles, both controllers rumble, and are only utilizing your main hands garbage for the haptics, which is kind of a disappointment. You should get like all kinds of like haptics going on, like where you're shoot getting shot from, or or just when you have a big machine gun, it should be both both of them going at the same time and the headset. You know, stuff like that, but that's a little disappointing. Uh, and gameplay, I'm giving gameplay a four as well. It is fun, but it's awkward. It's super awkward. The uh, machine guns feel don't feel great in the hand, like the aiming and stuff. Doesn't feel great in the hand. Uh, just a pistol alone too. Like you're, naturally, your hand wants to go like this, like a real gun, but it's forcing you to go down like this, and it like even like tension wise, like it's just crazy. Or you gotta aim really low. It's just super bizarre. Like you can't bring your aim up. Your aim would be like that. It's just a little weird. So that's why I'm giving it a four uh, for gameplay. But it's still a fun gameplay. And the quirkiness and the little bit of uh, lack of precision adds to the gameplay. It's like supposed to be an arcade game. You're not supposed to be brilliant at it, I guess. You can get better at it, but uh, just those little tweaks need to be addressed. Uh, so overall, I'm giving the game a 6.5, but I'm also subtitling it fun, a fun 6.5. This is nothing you're gonna play over and over again. You're gonna play it a couple times here and there and probably forget about it. I would pick it up on a sale. I wouldn't spend the full, it's on sale right now because it just came out. But the full price tag is $29.99 US dollars. So I wouldn't pick it up at that price. I would definitely get it on some kind of a discount sale. Uh, but if you like this content, guys, please like and subscribe, smash that bell icon. And for now, my name is Dave for Dave VR. I'll see you later. Oh, I got it. That was anticlimactic. Oh no, I'm starting over.
intel was good. That's the radar station. Go for it, Sergeant. Stay alive and burn it all down. With a pistol. Nice. 